welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 and hopefully you won't be able to hear the builders next door in the background. Today we're going to have a look at adding the paintable fields prefab into a map. So what this is going to allow you to do is instead of having to use a plow to create fields, you can paint down a cultivated field texture. Um, it's an edit you have to do in the map, but it's pretty simple. It's a couple of lines of XML and copying some files. So let's get out to the desktop and we'll have a look at it. Before we do that, actually, um, I'll stick a link below for it. It's available on ModHub. It's by Emproloop. And I think it's really cool. So let's get out to the desktop. I'll show you how to install it and we'll come back and have a look at how it works. So yeah, we're in the mods folder. That is under My Games Farming Simulator 22 mods. And we're going to add the paintable field tool to Calmstone. So you're going to want 7-zip or another zip tool first because we need to unpack both of them. So we're going to right click on Calmstone, 7-zip extract to Calmstone. Um, and then if it's a map that you've edited it, edited, copy it save it somewhere else for me this is a clean copy so i'm just going to delete the zip file we don't want both hanging around and then i'm also going to unzip the prefab um, you don't need the prefab in your mods folder at all really it's just to get the information it was easier um, and then we're going to copy cultivated brush and store cultivated brush so we're going to copy those two files and we're going to put them in the top folder with the mod desk okay we're then going to go back into the prefab folder we're going to open up the readme there is a really good readme in here you probably don't need to watch this video but you should um we're going to copy this line um so paintable foliage layer name equals terrain detail etc make sure you copy all of that we're then going to go into the map folder again and we're going to go into maps and you want to find map.xml. Open that up, scroll down and you'll find paintable foliages. And we're going to paste in, don't seem to have copied it, copy. And we're going to paste in the line from the um, text file that's in the prefab. So that's that done. And we're going to save that and we're going to close it. We're then going to go to the mod desk we're going to go back to the text file and you'll see there is a store item for the cultivated brush we're going to select all of that if my mouse will let me we're going to copy that and we're going to paste that into the store items and we're going to save that and we're going to close it and that is us done so you're going to want to rezip the map so we'll do that now as well you want to be in the top level folder where the mod desk file is. Press Control A to select all the files. Right click, 7-zip, and then add to fs22 underscore carmsden.zip or whatever your map is called. Um, this takes a little while because zipping files is really slow. And I've just noticed I have my laptop on low power mode. So uh, I'll fix that before I reload the game. And so there we go. What you're going to do is you're going to want to cut the zip file. So Control X cuts it, paste it back into your mods folder, and then delete the edited one. Um, you don't really need the prefab in there. It's not going to do anything. Um, it's a prefab. So uh, we'll just drag that out to the desktop. And there we are. Let's restart the game and have a look. So I'm back on Calmston. We're up near the garden center. Um, I've just brought the bit of communal land. We're going to go into the landscaping tool. The first thing you want to do is actually paint down a texture. Um, so the cultivated tool is under the plants. It's there. Um, but actually you want to paint down a texture first because we need to clear off what's there originally. Um, so I'm going to use animal mud. You could use any of the muds. You could use dirt, I guess. Actually, let's use dirt. Um, so I'm going to paint down a big chunk of dirt. I will show you what happens on the uh, if you don't paint it. But there we go. Nice big chunk of dirt. We're then going to go into plants. We're going to go to the cultivated tool. And we're going to cultivate our field. Um, now, 
uh, Alien Jim has this built in to the Western Wilds um, using a very similar technique. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's really cool. Um, you know, we now have a piece of cultivated field. You see, if we go here, it's not field. Here it is field. Very cool. If So just to show you, if you do it on um, land where you haven't taken away what's there, um, it stays. Uh, go up here, I'll see if I can find it. Um, so it's there. So it's actually, uh, it's kind of weird. Because uh, it's still got the grass on it. I guess it's however the grass has been planted. Um, so it turns it into field, but it's filled with grass in it. Um, my my advice would be to do what I've done here. Um, if you want to create a field, paint down some dirt and then paint down the cultivated texture. Um, if you're worried about the cost, there's the mod that changes it to free. So you use that. Um, and that's it. It's really cool. I really like this. Um, if you're doing a lot of field creating on a map, uh, maybe if you're setting up a fresh save on a map and you want to create a farm on an area where there aren't fields already, um, Silver Run Forest. Actually, you can't do it on there because that's a locked PDF. That's a locked DLC, so you can't use it on Silver Run Forest. Oh well. Um, but you know, if you're playing on Calmston and maybe you're playing up in some of these areas, um, so if we jump over here, I want to tag it. I want to visit it. There we go. Um, actually, why am I doing it this way? Um, so, you know, if you're playing on Calms, and quite a lot of maps have this now, and you've got, you know, an area like this, and you decide you want to build a little farmyard with some fields, but you don't want to have to manually plough all your fields in, you could build your farmyard, you could paint your fields in, you'll probably still need to plough them, but you could then use a worker or a course play to do that. Um, and yeah, I really like this. Uh, it is the, let me just jump back to get the right window up. Paintable Field Prefab by Empro Loop. There'll be a link for it below. If you use it, go rate it. You can rate it through the Giants website. You can't do this through Mod Hub in game. Uh, it's really cool. And if you like this video, click the like button. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, then leave them below. If it doesn't work when you do it, you probably did it wrong. If you've got an edit of a map, back it up before you start. Um, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and turn on notifications. And I will see you next time.